Guys, we have a friend who is like not a glass half full no. person. No, everybody but it, is always saying. But I love it when it fills my glass. I thought she was saying me. I'm like, am I a pessimist? You're the pessimist. <laughs> You're the pessimist. <laughs> you thought I was talking about you. I was like, what? <laughs> this is Hi, My Name is Mom, a podcast about motherhood. Here are your hosts, Jen, Corey, and Kayla. Real quick. Oh my word, you guys. Oh my gosh, my Your boobs are out. I love it because your boobs are not usually out. I know, I'm wearing a very comfy sweatshirt for the first time my boobs aren't out. I'm like, I'm loving that someone else's boobs are out. I love this. Do you want me to just unbutton my shirt and then we get like half out? It's fine. (laughs) Okay, real quick. If you are listening on a podcast platform, if you would go check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hi, my name is mom, hit subscribe, drop a comment. I promise there will be some moments that are better seen oh, yeah. visually yeah. <laughs> than just heard. <laughs> and if you are watching on YouTube, if you would go subscribe on whatever platform you get your podcast, it helps our podcast. You can immediately have the new episodes when they pop up and go follow us on social on socials on social this is what happens Speaking when i drink that, too much of the what, pessimist what, what, what social. is it that we call our viewers and listeners our watchers and listeners viewers like you our listeners our listeners wis- watcher listeners wow our our listeners. Listeners. Our that listeners. was a kayla and Corey thing it seems appropriate yes it does Okay, I got my um, okay. my glass full of uh, del vineyards Mine pessimist is water. cheers so if yeah, you cheers. hear the ice cubes rolling around in there you don't have wine on I ice actually okay what happened oh wait oh wait. we haven't introduced i feel like Brittany we almost, don't almost need needs no introduction Brittany. because we're like hey come on the podcast again i almost feel like you're hey just, guys so, it's me again the old drunk neighbor <laughs> come next to you nah. so kayla's wait. had ankle oh my God, my surgery stuck in the olive tree. <laughs> kayla has had ankle surgery she's laid up so we have an incredible guest host that all of you already know I love it. I'm Brittany a Taylor. substitute teacher. Yes. Well, substitute also. Your favorite substitute teacher. You know what I continue to love, though, is that we met you at one of our events and we were like, hi, we're keeping you. Uh, come on the podcast. I love Please it. Hang out with I us. love it. And we've done it in real life. I'm not going to I'm not going to get teary eyed today, but I literally was talking about you guys. And I was like, this is the probably the best group of women I could have ever met pre-pregnancy, Aww. like with pregnancy. <laughs> Because you've been the most consistent. She's not going to cry. We're going to cry. I'm yeah, going to cry. Yeah. But I love you guys. Each of you have like such a different, amazing perspective on mommyhood. And I feel like I've taken, I feel like I have three moms. <laughs> <laughs> and I've taken each one of you like, and I'm like, okay, great. Like I, I like the, like the, the way that you parent Radley and like the gentle parenting. I'm like, okay, I can, I can talk to River about options. And then I like see, I see it over here, like just like such a, like Kayla being such a mom, like a girl mom. I'm like, great. This is the girl mom that I need. And then over here, I'm like, Jen, when I need the tough truth, I'm like, yes. You know, like I, I've got every single bit of like what I feel like is a good mom. So it's I might be the fun. perfect parent. It's you know? actually yeah, fun to hear. <laughs> it, it really is fun to hear your perspective on how you see us because know, we know we're so very true. different. Yeah. yeah. And we know that's part of what works about our friendship mm-hmm. is we sort of like lift each other up and fill in the blanks for each other that we need. Yeah. In a weird but way. But I also don't know if you know this. I feel like your kids see that too. Yeah, right. Do. So like they like like the different aunties. And that's why I think having River, I was so worried about family. Yeah. And I have that with you guys because mm. I want her to look at other people outside of mom and dad when she's either frustrated or she's unhappy with something or she's missing something. And there's somebody across the room that she's like, that's my aunt. And yeah. I know I can talk to her about this or yeah. I know I can go to her for this or I know I can yeah. gripe about mom with Aunt Kayla. You know, like I want that for her because I know I'm not going to be I'm not 100% you can't be everything well, to your and, kids. and I I think sometimes people from the outside looking in are like these are three white blonde upper middle class women how different can they be so I love that like you see the differences in us and in our yeah. philosophies and our parenting styles and all of that because yeah. I think that's like that's why and I, love, I love hanging out with you guys all this. together like and to see like the whole mesh family it's like um like the beginning of any like sitcom like that that music you know like 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 uh, uh Saved by the Bell not Saved by the Bell I'm thinking about that um <laughs> Yeah, oh, and then I hang out with you guys that. individually, and there's such a there's a different space that you each fill, and I would not I would not be half the mom without you guys. So thank you. Oh, That's I love so you. Sweet. And we yeah. were just talking about yeah, we love you. just before this. I have truly recognized how little I was talking to another girlfriend of mine about how we have kids the same age, and she was saying like we have kids the same age, and we just hung out for the first time like this fall, and I said to her, "You're the first person that I've." had a pl- during the day during the week play date with I, in what in a so year long. yeah 
So it so so it's not that it's that I am not carving that time. And we were just talking about this because yeah. we have our little girls on Friday, and I'm like really being more intentional about making that time that doesn't have to be work. Yeah, because yeah. I truly. I miss the yeah. uh, every time it's I do it. So I know easy. How important it it's is. just so easy to get sucked into day to day, and yeah. everybody is busy because everybody has a million things. Mm-hmm. But but it's not just filling. I, I think about River, and I'm like, okay, I want her to have friends and like be around other people, so there's yeah. not much stranger danger. But it's also for me. It's like yeah. I I don't know where the switch happened, but yeah. all of a sudden I'm like, I'd rather just sit at home and just deal with the baby and get through this, right? Because I feel like that's it's what almost I like I'm, I'm like to. I'll get to the next phase and it'll be different. But it's such a it, it, it's, it's not. like you have to force yourself. I this, and, but she, you are good at doing I, that. Well, and I also every year I, I'm very like specific about it. Like this year on January first, my goal was I need to categorize my life. Like I need to compartmentalize it even more. Yeah. So I chose five areas that I'm going to touch every single day, and by touch I mean it could take thirty seconds. Yeah. But I'm going to be very intentional about them, and they are husband, kids, home, business, and personal. Right. And so those things, no matter what I do, something has to happen to move my life forward in those areas every day in a meaningful way. And ever since I've been like aware of it and doing it, life's been totally yeah. different. I, I think too, it's like the phase that I'm in. I, I talked to my friend, Sarah Bryce. So I just got off the phone with her because she was like, I, I love Sarah. She took her very first she trip. Amazing. It looked she like went with Dana. Yeah, I saw her trip. post and I was like, that's yeah. awesome. And that's the yeah, first trip right? that she's taking without a husband, without babies in forever. And I was just oh. calling her. So I, was like, I wanted to go visit. And, and I was like, you know, I just, I I'm, I'm feel such anxiety of like leaving the baby for even like a couple hours. And she's like, Girl, that's just that's just the moment you're in right now. Mm-hmm. And that's totally okay. So while you can have those five things that you're gonna focus on, yep. I can right now just focus on the foundation of mom and be like, okay, yeah. I have room in my cut for every day with River and yeah. then maybe one day a week, you know? And then yeah. maybe maybe next yeah. year it's two days a week and maybe next year it's two days in a business. Like yeah. it doesn't have to be all it's at also once. life phases. I it mean true. I, when I first met Sarah, our our sons are like Radley yeah. and Riker are the same age. And so we started hanging out and then she was pregnant with True. She's like, I'm so sorry. Aww. I feel like I'm such a horrible friend. Yeah. And and we have never really truly like circled back to like hanging out. But it's the same thing with any friends. I'm like, yeah. this is a life phase and we will circle back. You shouldn't feel like you have to have your hands in a million things right now. No. It's I, like your daughter and your partner, right? Like those things, they matter. Yeah, I know. How did you come up with River's name? <laughs> so I knew River was going to be either an Aquarius or a Pisces. And I'm an Aquarius, right? Water has always made me calm. I've always lived near water. Even even everyone's like, you live in Tennessee, you're, you know, essentially yeah. bound. But I live literally near a lake, right? I, I always yeah. find water to be my my biggest um advocate of finding my way. And when River was born, it was kind of in a tumultuous situation. My, I should preface this with, my Thai name is Payuma, which means the hurricane is coming. Oh, oh wow. So I like that. Yeah. So even like my Thai name is around water, right? Wow. And my mom and my grandma would always be like, you know, in her eyes when the hurricane is coming, because it just is like, and so, but my grandmother would say like, you could always see the storm brewing. Right. And so in order to like settle it down, it was always let's take her for a walk or let's take her to the beach or let's, you know, I and I'm I broke up from one of my biggest breakups ever. And I was in such a terrible place in my life. And I moved to St. Thomas and I lived on an island for two years. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Um, so when River when I found out I was pregnant with River, um, PJ and I were not good. We actually were not even really together at that point. We had a, a huge break. Um, it, it separated friends. It was a really bad moment. Um, and as we were getting back together, I knew something was up. I just didn't know what it was. I even ta- I hadn't even taken a pregnancy test weeks before and it was negative. So I'm like, something's wrong with me. You know, I just thought maybe I was depressed. I went home to Philly, um, with my grandmother and we just like had like long life conversations about what was going to happen. And PJ and I at that moment decided we were going to get back together. So when I came back from Philly, I was like, something is still wrong. Something's not wrong, just it felt off. Weird. Um, and that's when I got a positive pregnancy test. So when I went back, PJ and I fought about pretty much everything until that moment. We were like, like oil and water. We just did not mix about anything. Political, life, religion, 
anything. And so I knew names was going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you seem pretty aligned on we, everything. We, we, we've we've gotten it. He really I, I think he's just yeah. given in. <laughs> he gave up. I am, he's, a, he's a Libra, right? So everything he's for him mean. is very, very balanced. Balance. Um, he's also very practical. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's, you know, he's a blue collar kind of guy. When is his birthday? Um, October 15th. It's like the same as me and Ty. Like the same. He's the day after you. No. Ty's October 13th. No, No, you're the day before. I'm the day before Ty. He's two days after. So yeah, Ty's a Libra. Very balanced. But but he's October 13th. I didn't realize they were that close. Yeah, very amazing. But he's just very like. Black is black and white is white. And even the way he grew up, he grew up in Jackson, Tennessee, right? Yeah. Like I grew up in Philadelphia around so much culture. My grandmother didn't even really speak English. You know, like I grew up going to Thailand my whole life. So I had seen more of the world than I feel like he he did until he was 18. And when he was yeah. 18, he went to war. Yeah. You know, right. So he's very much like black and white. So his worldview is different anyway. Yeah. Because like, yeah. that is just Big such time. an extreme version yeah. of seeing the world. He, and and his whole idea of life is provide and protect, right? Well, the Aquarius yeah. in me is like, fuck no. that noise. You know, yeah. like what? There's no, there's no lines anywhere. Everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh my gosh. The world is made of yeah, lines. Yeah. He's, I was like, whoa. You know, like not, not even color inside the lines. There's just tons of colors everywhere. And he's like, oh my gosh. So I like even, I mean, I, he'll say things. And I'm like, come on, man. Who cares? Like, just let it go. And he's like, well, you don't understand. You don't understand about the world and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I do. I understand so much about the world that I'm just like, let it go. Ebb and flow, man. You got to mm-hmm. ebb and flow, man. Water, Eat a mushroom. Water. Take some. Eat do a some, mushroom. Do some. I'll microdose you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do some weed. I don't know what it is. But just chill out. Um, and oh so with names, you can imagine he was super conventional and I was not, I went. What did he want? Like that. Jack, John, Thomas. He, he went <laughs> Leonard and he was. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's a cute name. Leo's yeah. cute. He was, oh gosh, he was like, uh, what, what, gosh. What a weird, women, what a women. weird way to like. Theodore, but I was like, Theodore, Teddy Theo, for a girl also. was cool, but not, but like the, it was like Theodore William something. I was like, because we thought we were as a boy at first. So it was, okay. it was like uh-huh. very like old school white man boy name. Fitzgerald. Names. We yes, actually yes. considered Fitzgerald for Sebastian, but his name's Sebastian. Adrian so. wanted his name. He wanted Arthur, Nancy Arlen. for a girl. Wait, what? Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> it feels very Stranger Things I now. Only, yes, it does, but I can only think of uh, Drew. And uh, Nancy Drew. Yeah. Yeah, Adrian wanted to name our son Arlington Omer. By the way, that's a family what? name, and I was like, no, sorry. Oh, I'm my. sorry. So, no, I actually think we should all Ernest. say how we ended yeah. up naming our children, because oh. it's such an interesting thing, because you can also, there's no greater opinion than naming a person. Yeah. You can. Okay, you're so like, I'm going to so yeah. tell, I'm I'm tell sorry, you that. I am maybe the one person in this group who will say, you can screw this up. Oh, uh, you can't. I agree. You so, can. here's what happened, though, is this is how... Shit, I'm giving away my secret. What I like to do is I like, you know, okay, so when no, wait, I want it's to a sales technique, secret. right? Is so it's a okay. mom hack. Oh God. So in sales, they tell you when you're trying to sell somebody on a like let's just say you're at a car lot, right? And there's these high end cars and these low end cars. You show them the highest end car to they see all the bells and whistles, everything that's grandeur about it. And then you First. show them the little shit guy over here, and you're like, Well, this has been your budget. And they slowly creep into the middle. Mm-hmm. So that's what I did with my names. Mm-hmm. I had a list of names and River was Two literally extremes. in the middle. I so had you extreme... knew you wanted her name oh, to be River. Oh, I was all over the place. I think I went with or like... Or him. That um, could be a boy name too. Did yeah. you have it for a boy too? I had it for either. I was just really in love. And okay. my girlfriend will tell you, it was in my... So I had three names that I was like, it has to be one of these three and River was in there. And he, and we were like, okay, let's strategically place these names in the middle. And I went you all over the place. You had a strategy. Yeah. I mean, I was like... <laughs> I had like I had like ocean. I, Which I went. Is surprising. I went, yeah. You would think that would actually be PJ's so game. I had some a strategy. <laughs> you yeah, like, of how to find the perfect name. So I had like Mary and Margaret and you know like all these like little names over here. And then I had the super grandeur names like. Oh gosh, I think I had like Aurora or Universe or something crazy. <laughs> universe. I really, I'm really, I'm pretty sure. Uni I for had, like, sure. I, I know. I, I, I think I had like Galaxia or something. Yeah. I'm sure it was. In, I gotta find my baby names list. Not yeah. Galaxia. And, 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 and in the middle was River. And so I every single day he'll tell you every single day I was like, oh, I think about what do you think about like, um, Alexia Karma Sutra blah blah blah. <laughs> and he'd be like, <laughs> he's like, no, no. And then I'm like, okay, I think I want this name. I think I want. I think I want Andrea Cucaracha. And he's like, Bucca- no. Cucaracha. Bucca- Bucca- yeah. I just went all over the place. And then finally I was like, what about River? And he was Wait, like. Wait, what's her middle name? Malay. So that was, that was like not that. planned. 
Malie okay. was so my grandmother is Thai, uh-huh. and so Malie is the name of her grandmother. Oh, Me and I love my grandmother that. have such a special relationship, and my grandmother was kind of not making fun of her first name, but she's she's Thai, and the R's sound like L's. Yeah, and she's like, I don't want to call your daughter Liver, so <laughs> we've got to figure something out. And um, I was like, okay, I was like, well, I'm gonna I have a middle name. She goes, why don't you give her a Thai name? And that's a really cool. Yeah. And so we, we were again, we went down the list of like all the possible names they could possibly be. And I said, well, what about Malik? Because that is the name of her grandmother who was so special to her. It means Jasmine. Inside. I love that. And so as a gift for my grandmother, I sent her a Jasmine, a, like a little Jasmine tree. And the very first bloom happened the day that River was born. <gasps> yeah. So I, was like, I just perfect. got chills. Such a perfect that. flower. But yeah. you didn't go but through River, baby. But River was manipulative as shit. I, I like. I that. wanted it. That is it, so funny. And I had and he to make sure. He never knew. Does he no. know now? Oh, he's gonna know now. He's gonna find out. He won't but, listen. Just, just wait. But did you? So, but you knew River. You didn't go through all the names of like because I'll tell you what I did. This wasn't with the first, but okay. Here's what had happened. My nephew, who is the oldest grandchild on my side of the family, um, is a year older than Radley. Yeah, and. When my sister was pregnant with him, they would only give initials and everybody would like try to guess that's what cute. the name oh, was. Cute. But my mom w- had a store and she was monogramming and she would be like, don't do a G. G's don't monogram well. <laughs> and we're like, OK, don't well, OK, G. that can't be a reason. But she like had good intention. I guess it's oh, as good God. a reason as Have any. You, I stopped telling people River's name, FYI, because yeah. so many people like I they would, have opinions. Oh, yeah. God. Like, I think Willow, I was I was I was up for Willow for like a good five minutes uh-huh. and they were like don't do willow because blah 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 because yes. blah, blah 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 and i was like i'm, I'm over it okay i'm over exactly. it exactly so i thought my sister has this fantastic idea of not telling anyone because people have opinions mm-hmm. i'm going to take it a step further and not tell anyone yeah. because i had friends i would have girlfriends call me and go okay here's our names da 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 my mom hates this my mother-in-law hates this my whatever and i'm like well, once you name a baby, no one hates no it. one can hate it. No. So this would yeah. be my advice to anyone who is pregnant. Or they just won't tell you tell to your face. Anyone. They'll tell you they'll tell you to your face pre baby, but they would never tell it to you. No. But, but once you there. meet the baby You'll and attach say- the name, you don't hate it. I no. will say this. I've had more people I, I know more people that name their babies before they're born, right? right? Like you choose it. But I've never I've always had personally to meet them. Be, and I remember this yeah. because like my mom, when I was born, I was supposed to be Brooke. And when they held me, she's like, this is not a Brooke. And no, I'm not a Brooke. If you know my sister, Brooke and I are polar opposites. Yeah. So it's it was interesting. She's she like, saved that's the what name, name you. She did. She named the next one Brooke, who was a second yeah. child, who was very much a Brooke. Mm. And so it was just, she's like, I knew you weren't Brooke. And so that always stuck, stuck, stuck. It always stuck, stuck with you? Stuck, yeah. It stuck with stuck me. Stuck is the word you're looking Thank for. You. <laughs> it stuck with me. It was like, I, I want to, and that's not to say we didn't have one or two names chosen. And then it was like, what fits that baby? Right. You right, know, because right. there's like a little bit of like personality thing at play too, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think it's also I changed a little because I think when when I was younger, right, and you used to play mommy and you would have these, these names in your head, none of those names that I ever mm-hmm. wrote down no. back then nope. was even a thought in my mind. No. None of them stuck. No. None, none of them, them stuck. stuck. And then I'm well, stuck. <laughs> well, with Radley, I will say that like one of the mistakes we made, and I love his name, but people think he's saying Bradley. So mm-hmm. he always say says, My name's Bradley without the B. I mean, and Aww. so he does that a lot. And so there is that thing where you have to actually say them out loud. Yeah. And I can't remember where I picked this up, but someone told me, like, yell it like you're mad at them. Oh, that's what I do. So I told Ty. PJ did, and, I got and so he's mad like, that's at him. So yeah. ridiculous. Don't yell our unborn child's yes. name. Oh, yeah, yes. I did it with all mine. So I was like, why would you do that? Yep. But with Radley, we had we were going to visit his parents and we'd flown into Omaha and we're driving to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we named Radley in like a matter of 15 minutes mm. because we both love the, the book To Kill a Mockingbird. We yeah. loved a literary yeah. reference. We wanted a name. This was like a little before the curve of trying to name kids weird names. Yeah. It was when people were still a little more in the let's look at the list of popular baby names. Mm. And now it's swung so far the other way where people want to come up with like, it's like, is it Paxton, Poxton, Peakston, Pookston? I like know. you go through the list I, of things that and sound I, I struggle like, with that because I do yeah. feel like as, as unique as you want your child to be, you also want it to be somehow phonetically, you want it to like phonetically yes. make sense. Yeah. Where yeah. they're they understand how to spell it because right. I, I mean, I think I have to imagine that one of the biggest pains in the ass as a kid is constantly having to spell 
your name. No, yeah. it's P A X T Y. You have the oh, you because you have the A I N Y. Yeah. Well, yeah. on Ty's yeah. side, his sister. And people always have... think I'm spelling it wrong. I'm like, right. I'm right. spelling it this way for 33 my, years. It's my right. name. Is I that a pain in the butt? Oh, God. you would even I'm on the phone. B R I T T A I. Hold on, hold on. The I always I stop them. I'm like, so it's Britain with two T's and a Y. Well, okay. So question: <laughs> If you Britanny, if it you sounds had like a Britanny. choice, would you have preferred to have been named Britanny or Brittany? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Britainty? Yeah. Britainty. No, I Which would you have preferred? With the I or without? If you could go I back. like my I like my with. I think it makes me yeah. unique. Because just like Bradley is learning, it's it, it gives you the confidence of correcting someone. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a weird that's really so, true. Yeah. because you're I mean it, it can't be offensive in, mm-hmm. in a correction, right? It's not the fact is you're saying it, my name incorrectly. And right. so it gives you a certain like no, it's it's B. It's an extra. There's an I at the end of the the A. It looks like Britney, like Britain with two T's and a Y. I'll spell it out for you again, and then it it forces people to listen to you. That's yeah. really for true. A, for a, yourself. yeah. For a second, it'll give you like the setback, like mm, I keep spelling my name wrong, and then yeah. you're like, why am I letting people spell my name wrong? Yeah. And then it, that becomes your your level of confidence. Like no, it's it's it sounds like Bradley, but it's just an R or Radley. And people Bradley spelled my name yeah. with an E or something Even my whole Kayla life. Even spells your name wrong. I think yeah. your name is spelled <laughs> your wrong in her phone. <laughs> oh, it is. She has an E on the end of my name in her phone. But with Rad, what we didn't want is a popular name. So we would right. look at the baby, like we looked at the baby list and it was like used like 10 times in 100 years. And we're like, great, done. I Boom. And then we gave him my dad's middle name because you also have to look the, at the initials like I dated a oh, guy yeah. and his initials were gas and like you have to think about these things like <laughs> I like, know I did, <laughs> we almost had an A name I was like her initials would be rack yeah <laughs> right you have to honestly like think and, and then, then she had big boobs like her mom that'd yeah. be a huge problem right Oops, literally. that's so funny oh my gosh but then what happened so is funny. when we when we had another boy it became really difficult and to have a could, less trendy name, but a super cool, unique well, name. Well, yeah, because we were in this phase of like, I was like, what about Maverick? And we're like, well, there's another Top Gun movie coming out, mm-hmm. and that's going to be such a popular name. And people now were going with like Axe and yeah. like all these like tough Dart. kid Dart, yes. <laughs> Dash, you know. And yeah. I love all of these names. But it's also really cool too because some older school people, like 60s, 70s people that I like am around or friends with have said to me like, oh, that kid's going to get me made fun of. And I was like, no, actually, we live in the world now where we're nope. really eclectic names it's are so the norm. Yeah, cool. Right. So it's, it's kind of it's kind yeah. of it's kind of rad. Yeah. Well, we couldn't like we couldn't. And that was the that was when you said said rad. I remember when we came up with a name, we thought, well, Radley is going to need to understand that there's this character that's a recluse in To Kill a Mockingbird and that he actually ends up being the hero of the story. And also, we can't say that we're going to call him Rad, but we're going to call him Rad. Mm -hmm. Ty was very much like, that would be his nickname. We can't, like, call him that, but... And then so with with Sebastian, we had this instinct to go with a more traditional name. Right. And it was so hard to come up with. And then what happens is when you tell people you can't come up with a name... And I would ask people, I'm like, hey, what are your names? My sweet mom, you guys, my mom's the cutest. She would make these really long lists of names, but then get like slightly offended when I didn't like one of them. She'd be like, I came up with the name. It's Cam. And I'm like, well, that just makes me think of Cam the artist. Well, you can't veto everything. And I'm like, no, but we can... Choose I can veto to not- 9,746,000 yeah, of them. But, yeah, my baby. But yeah. the one I want. Yeah. But she was persistent. Yeah. And she is the one who told us there was some show she was watching. Where we already liked the name Sebastian, mm-hmm. but like some people say like sea bass or, or something. Bash- like, oh. Sebastian and- makes me think. What's that old school movie with the dog? Oh, I don't know that. And one. there's like the little baby guys. Come on, I don't know that one. Oh no, Do you know that one? It's not. It's um dog. The never ending story. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah. The words. horse and all you have to say is the horse in the quicksand. Oh, yeah, okay. but when my mom said. I, it was a show or something she was watching where she was like, the nickname was Bash. We didn't tell her so in that perfect. moment because we chose to keep it a secret yeah. because right before Radley was born, she goes, well, something, somebody named their kid Hadley. What a weird name, Hadley. And I was thinking, Uh-oh. very close to Radley. Uh-huh. So we ended up, and of course, everyone's good with his name. And if they didn't like it, they didn't tell me. Mm-hmm. And so then Ty and I later that night, we were like, Sebastian, but nickname Bash, like that's awesome that feels yeah. and we perfect. surprised my mom with using her maiden name for his name for his middle name and then with teddy it was the craziest thing because she was a huge surprise and i don't know if you know this actually either but 
when we were all together for the gender reveal, uh-huh. I said to you um, and, and a few other people, I was like, you know, I saw this something and you know, like I thought Sunny was like the cutest name. And you're like, Sunny Teddy? And I was oh. like, no, Sunny. And I was like, but Teddy is a really cute name. And I go, and, and then Ty told me that um, that was his grandfather's nickname. Oh. And then when I looked up, you always have to look up the meaning of names. Oh, yeah. I looked up the meaning and it said gift from God. Oh, that's perfect. And I'm not that's even cool. religious, but I was like, I feel like this is our little gift from God. I love that. And I was like, that's done. Cute. And yeah. then we had the conversation of, it, since she's a girl, can we put an I on the mm-hmm. end? Like my name. I think that's cute. And then Ty was like, meh. But we didn't give her her middle name until the day she was born because yes. this is another thing. Okay. Here's the thing about naming kids. If you are a mom who has a lot of mom friends, there are these unspoken rules. Where you don't name the same name. Or if someone has dibs to name. Yeah. Yes. It's a thing. A well, little was, bit. A little bit. I don't think middle I names I know. Count. Actually, I'm going to be honest. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine the other day, and she was talking about – because I'm looking to have another baby soon. And I was, I was like, have in my head the name that I kind of want. And she said it out loud. And I was like, shit. You're like, just I a heads up. It. I might use that too. That's actually that was my you thing. Almost with my I'll call it out. I just said it. I'm like, I don't even. So then care. it's like you a race it, to the baby. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh. So wait. So what was your? Because I remember what you were thinking about naming her middle name and what you wound up with, and I yeah. love both of them. Okay. So your... my grandmother's middle name, who had passed away not long before, is her name was Faye. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So Teddy Faye. But the name I really loved was Quinn. Interestingly, I love love the name Harley for a girl, and I also love the name Quinn (laughs) for a girl. And so then Ty loved to make fun of me and say that I wanted to name our daughter Harley Harley Quinn. Quinn. I'm like, no, I just like both names. But his sister, his little sister's middle name is Quinn, which I love because it's a family name. Yeah. And his thing was, yeah, but that's her. Like, I feel like I'm so connected to her name's Christy Quinn. I'm, I feel like that's Christy's name. And I'm like, no, but that's why you give that's it as a, a middle, middle name. name. I think middle names have to have so, meaning like that. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. I'm like, Teddy Quinn just sounds cool. And I love Teddy Faye. I think it's sweet. But like to me in my eyes now, she's such a Teddy Quinn. So I let Ty decide. On the day oh. she was born, um, they said, you know, because when they bring the baby out, like we, we always said, we're not going to tell, we're not going to tell because we also want to meet them and make sure it fits. So we always did that. We had a couple of like, we would have like a top three. Yep. And I'm happy to share my other top names if anyone wants to steal them because we're done having kids. <laughs> but um, but I would always have like a top two or three and we would pretty much know what the baby's name was going to be. Like actually, interestingly, Sebastian's, one of the others high on the list was Breck. Mm. And we're going to Breckenridge re- like very soon because Ty's favorite thing in the world is snowboarding. And so he was like, oh, that name, like Brecken and the, oh, the yeah. Breck yeah. for short. Like Brecken Meyer. I like that. Reminds us of snowboarding yeah. and like one of his favorite things to do in a really cool place. And so that was another name we had in our back pocket was Breck yeah. for Sebastian. But when mm-hmm. we met him, like we knew we loved the name Sebastian. And you kind of get attached to that name as them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, although, well, I'll tell you the Teddy, but I have to circle back to, to when I was pregnant with Radley because I think this is a funny story. But um, but I said to Ty, when they brought her out, they said, what's her name? And we both said, Teddy. Yeah. And I said, you fill out the birth certificate and you decide if it's Faye or Quinn. I love them both. And then, and wow, then he sent out. Great. He sent out a. He went to a control freak. He sent out a text <laughs> message to our whole family, meet Teddy Quinn. Yeah. And. I love seeing that. I will say. I do have this like. Oh, he knew that's what you wanted. Too. Well, and well, I think he ultimately he talked to his sister about it, and yeah, she was like, "No, special. I'm like, no, it's an honor." Yeah. So my sister did a combination of the two sisters' middle names, so she's Kennedy Corabeth, oh, so Corey and Elizabeth, cute. which is really sweet. So you know, Kayla has Loxley Ray, and I have Evelyn May. So that's why we were like, "Wait, you're really thinking about naming her Teddy Faye?" We we're like, "That's hysterical." Yeah. Like to- three different. So that was always my vote. But Quinn, I can't see her named anything else now. And that's part of it. And we call her that. We call her Teddy Quinn. We call her TQ. Mm -hmm. We call her like, yeah. But when I was pregnant, when I, and this is the last thing I'll say. And then, because I want to hear, because you have four, so that seems hard to Uh. name. But (laughs) when I was pregnant with Radley, we knew we didn't want to reveal the name. And we didn't really want people to know we were pregnant in those early days. And so we codenamed the baby Batman. Oh, yeah. And so- there were only a few people who knew about Batman. And so with coworkers, he could be like, hey, like, how's Batman? I'd be like, good. So we adopted the name Batman so much so that we got so much Batman-themed stuff. 
And Rad still considers that his second name. But what happened is we were living in New York City. And I called the baby Batman in my head till the day Radley was born. So I would walk around New York City. You know, you kind of hold your belly. And then (laughs) one day I was in like Starbucks and I'm like, oh, Batman, I just love you so much. And I realized I said it out loud. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. But you're holding your belly. But like also I said, Batman, I love you so much. (laughs) They were like, she's pregnant. That's okay. Just forgive her. <laughs> she's hormones. Good the hormones. Lord, that's so, so funny. Anyway, how did you name your kids? Do you have advice on that? Because I feel like the more kids you have, the harder it is to name them because you've used your top Yeah. Well, picks. here's the thing. Mm. I think if you had asked me in the beginning, my top picks, I would have felt like I would have just spread out over all my kids. Okay. And they would have just been like this one. And then I'll use that next one. And then I'll use that next one. And that's just not the way it Like your mom kind of did. Yeah, well, with the, Jen she did and Brooke. that with me and Brooke, and then the other two was different. But like, yeah, I guess I always thought I would take the favorite names. Like with Ava, we named her long before Ava was popular, and and the two names that we were struggling with were Ava Grace or Sophia Grace. I'm so glad we didn't name her Sophia Grace now because there were so many that yeah. year and the following year, and then Ava became really popular too. But um, I I guess in my head I always thought, well, if we ever have another baby, I'll name her Sophia something. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll still name her Sophia Grace and they can share a middle name and that'll just sort of carry through. But that like just went out the window because your tastes change and your yeah. you, everything changes, your family structure. The, yeah. the one thing that was big for me, and this may not matter to anyone else, but the one thing that was big for me was not repeating the same beginning consonant. Like I didn't. I never thought of yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't want like but, A-A-T-A but people do that purposefully. or A-A-C-B. I wanted right. like four different letters. I. Be- mostly because I'm such a control freak that I was looking at like what the acronym would be like on a mom necklace or on a bracelet. And I didn't, I didn't want it to be like two of the same letters. And then a di- I-, I don't know. It was just a, it was kind of a weird way of thinking. Like I want them to each kind of have their own identity. So when Charlie, when we found out Charlie was Charlie and we found out the gender of all of our babies before they were born, that was just like, we just did. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to be, I mean, we were surprised. We found out, very different ways, completely unique for each pregnancy, but none of them were like delivery room announcements. Mm-hmm. So after we had Ava, when we found out we were pregnant with Charlie, we were like, I was having a really hard time because I I didn't, I for me, I wasn't a big fan of Charles. It felt too, and Charlie Charles. was, yeah, and Charlie wasn't popular. And I was like, well, what would people call Charlie as a nickname? And my friend at the time was like, Chuck. And I was like, oh, F no. We are not. My kid's not going to be called Chuck. And then at one point, someone was laughing and, and said chuckles. And I was like, oh, OK, well, I can kind of I can kind of joke with that. I can like get in with that. So if we name him Charlie and somebody calls him Chuck, let's call him Chuckles. And it was like sort of this like little nickname for him for a while. He's always been Charlie. And people do ask me, is that his name or we is that a nickname? All, we all call him Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he is not a Charles. He's just Charlie. He's Charlie Maxwell. We need on his birth certificate. Yeah, Charlie. yeah. Charlie. Which is which is that's that's the thing too, right? Yeah. Is that now what used to be deemed nicknames like yep. Teddy? Uh, for oh, Theodora people and all that people stuff. kept telling me I need to, yeah. needed to name her Theodora. Yeah, and I was like, no, yeah, no, no, her don't. Name's Teddy. Her name's Teddy. You name her what you want to name her, and, and I call her Ted sometimes. And I was like, that. Like... I was Je- I was Jennifer, and I am Jennifer, but Jennifer doesn't feel like my name. I m- when I was a kid, I was Jenny. You don't feel like a Jennifer, no. And and I, I was yeah, a Jenny. I see you as Jenny because I also know people in your family right. call you Jenny. And, and I was Jenny until I graduated from high school. But to be honest with you, I had kind of a tumultuous childhood with like bullying and like stuff when I got to high school it was fine you were shedding but something I was shedding something with I, a knee yeah the yeah, knee I was you the knee. I just became Jen the knee yeah when yeah. I would be when yeah I went you know to what college. though I'm like the one hit wonder name like name another era in which Britney was popular because if I say Britney you know it's the late 80s or the early 90s uh, I love that and I used to hate it because we would come back we would talk yeah. about like can you imagine like an 80 year old Britney like that just sounds now I can it, I can't. It's just it's so young. It's like forever young, which is great. But that I'm like, really young. It is I'm forever Brittany young. It's with really young really old lady with old lady eyebrows. You know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> just kind of yeah. But when you it. walk down, I remember walking Those down one the hit halls. Wonder names. It's like Virginia, and you yep. know, there's these names that yeah. But name will... it. Is there another name like Brittany that hasn't come back? Stephanie. No, I feel like I've, I've seen. Ah, uh, you may be right. Eighties. Stephanie might uh, be the other Jessica one. Has Jessica come back? Oh, Jessica. But people named Jesse. 
Yeah. It's more Jesse than Jessica. Do you, you can't, know there's that no, there's I no thought, nickname for Brit that would come back like Brit? Right. Yeah. I thought that That's Radley true. was going to be a girl and our name for her was Charlie. With two E's or I an I-E or Like what? Char L-E-E. Yeah. Like I know my, a Then that's my middle name. And we were very committed to that. And it was a little jarring when queen. we found out we were having a boy. And then by the time we were having a second child, you have a Charlie. Uh-huh. And also my in-laws named their dog Charlie. Oh, and yeah. so we were like, more awkward to name your kid the same name as your as in-laws dog. dog than a friend's kid. Yeah, mm. I don't actually mind. Well, I, it would have been, we liked it for a girl. And right. so- by the time Teddy was born, it was like, well, okay, and see, we moved that on. was our problem is that I loved the name Aiden when Charlie was born. But yeah. Ava and a- the two A's really got Bugged me you. for some reason. So anyway, Charlie is Charlie. I'm glad he's I'm glad that's his name. His middle name is Maxwell. We named him after my brother. And then when Mason was born, that was really a hard one because I'm like, well, I already have a girl and I already have a boy, and I know what they look like. So I have no idea what another boy could possibly look like. Yeah. Like it's weird. It's like it I, is, I, yeah. I reproduced girls and they look like this, and I reproduced boys and they look like this. It's like it's almost mind blowing that that you could have Anything a totally else. different human. Like, right. yeah. So right. one's blonde and one's brunette. And yeah. Anyway, so Mason, we struggled with his name. And Mason was never even like in the top ten of anything we were thinking about. Yeah. And Adrian's dad um, was a brick mason in his whole life from like I age love of seventeen. That name. Yeah, until just recently when he retired. And so Mason James was more of a Culp family name both of those pieces felt very culp Mm -hmm. and then when we got pregnant with evelyn i mean we went through so many names so i remember because you that's the day you met kayla is you were visiting me and we were all sitting on the couch together naming evie we had no idea so i I wanted to name her ellie or ella and we loved the middle name may m-a-e and i didn't realize ellie may is some kind of financial institution yes it is or or or, Wait, Fannie also, May. Fanny no, May. there and then there's Ella, Ellie May. Ella is, May or, is it Ella May? Fannie May. It's like and... Fannie May. There's like an Ellie or an Ella okay. something in that yeah. same group of financial firms. And then there's also Beverly Hillbillies is like Ellie. Yeah. A, a, one of the other. It's another uh, one like this. So we were yeah. like, okay, that's out. Um and I remember us talking about well, Evelyn though. And I, we were like, would she be Evie, Evie? See, I did not like Evie. And so I was really struggling, and I loved Eve at, because I loved that it was a palindrome. Oh, and that's Eve what it was, palindrome. Eve or Evie. Yeah. And what was funny was I was looking at, again, it's like I'm back to my mom necklace, right? I'm looking at my kids, the, the initial. Did you, did you think about that? I've I did, never thought about so, my so mom I'm necklace. I'm thinking no, about a mom about necklace, them. and it's going to say A-C-M-E, and I'm looking at that going, oh, uh-huh. Pack me. that sounds yes. like what's on the side of a bomb exactly. and a Bugs Bunny com- like cartoon. <laughs> that's awful. Who wants Acme? So I'm like Googling. I'm like, oh, I thought it was a Acme, good grocery store. What is Acme? Right. But I'm like, what does Acme stand for? And the actual definition of Acme was the pinnacle of perfection, the point at which everything is perfectly balanced or complete. And I was like, that's it. Oh, that's it's got to be an E. It has to start with an E. Was it when you were at my house that we figured it that out? It maybe was because it was right. I mean, we traveled down here when I was like 30. She had four Evie or five weeks, weeks later. I'm yeah. pretty sure you were sitting on my couch in I my was. bonus room when we figured that out. It, it, because it's we were possible. talking about the Evelyn way, d- and Eve and yeah. Evie, and that's when we like. So that's, yeah. and, and just randomly, the names of the Adrian and I liked, there were seven E names for Evie. Yeah. Just seven different. It names. was going to be and we're like, Okay, well, I guess it's going to be an E. That's why we were like, "What does it mean?" So then we settled on it has yeah. to be an E. So then we get to the hospital to have her, and it was like a day and a half later before we could even pick a name. And my mom finally is like, "Well, let's just open this up to non E names." And I was like, "Sit down and shut your mouth. We are not moving on from this. We've already <laughs> cho- we've chosen this." So then we just had to choose. We had to we felt choose. pressured, and we we brought Ava in. We brought Ava in to like hold her and be like. We need help. Like, what do you think her name is? Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, and, and Mason for a long time called her Elsie May. He was convinced her name was Elsie, which is, by the way, a cow on some cow cartoon. I mean, another. Here's like that's another. Funny. Yeah, but Elsie, he still sometimes calls her Elsie. Well, Radley names Teddy Steppy. Oh, and it was like a cross between. I can't. Remember, it was like his favorite babysitter and something else. And he was like, "But it's a great name." He's like, "No, her name is Steppy." And he was so convinced her name was going to be Steppy. And he called her Steppy for a while when she came home. But then Aww. finally, yeah. Well, at, we were, her, Evie's other nickname was Eleven. Because, and I don't remember really why. I think she was the 11th grandchild on the Meyer side. And so it was all these E's. There were just all these E's floating around. Yeah. It was like, it's going to be, it's got to be E's. Did you guys so. have any names? Well, you already knew the name. Did you have any names you felt like 
you couldn't use because someone had like there are all these weird yes. well this one's yeah. got this name and this I remember yep. my mom ha- having this conversation with my mom too where it's like how many degrees of separation do you have to have because Ty's middle name is Alexander mm-hmm. and so I really wanted to name Sebastian Xander uh-huh. with an X yeah. and I thought that was like such a cool name and he wouldn't because his cousin has a Xander Mm -hmm. and there were all these little, and then Ty loved the name stone. Well, my cousin has a child named stone. Stone. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that the older you get when you're having kids, the more things get vetoed. Yeah. And so you have your partner vetoing them. You have grandparents and friends potentially vetoing them. If you're sharing the name early, unless you're very just confident, Mm -hmm. this is the name, but people don't care if the baby's not born yet. They will assert their opinions. Oh yeah. But then after the baby's born, they will not. My biggest piece of advice for anybody naming a baby is not to worry if you know someone else with that name. Like that is the thing that, but like, unless it's I a would best it, friend. Yeah, but you wouldn't name another a baby Teddy. No, I wouldn't. So it's like how many friend. degrees but of separation do, does there have to be? To that point, I feel like everyone, very few people look at a best friend and they're like, oh, I'm going to name my kid that. I wanted to name my kid that. That happens. Because right? they identify with a different right. child. I do think that there are so many of us that are like, oh, but so-and-so name their kid that. Well, I haven't been friends with that so-and-so for 11 years. Yeah. But still, it's like, mm-hmm. there's this Do you this have idea names, that you though, can't. that you identify with someone you knew and you're like, uh. Oh, well, yeah. I, you know how it's yes. like you identify. Or like ex-boyfriends. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, for sure. Let me ask you this. With your boys, was there any ever a discussion of a junior? No. no. Wow. None. No. In fact, Ty, I think, really didn't like the idea of a junior. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know, it, it, it was just never a thing mm-hmm. with us. Well, that's, um, that was kind of like our thing was because he's so traditional. He was yeah. like, so we're going to have a, and I was like, well, I don't know. I got yeah. PJ the second. Yeah. What is PJ's full so name? PJ is not, PJ is Paul Jr. He's technically a junior, but he's not really because his okay. middle name is not the same. So but his would, dad's name is Paul. He's Paul Ambrose. Would you ever okay. name a baby Paul and call him Paul, not PJ? No, I would okay. not. Because that's too close still for you. I just, yeah, it's I get too it. traditional. You for want me. him to have, yeah, I get that. You want him to have its own identity. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, wait, can we name your next baby? Bo, but then B-E-A-A-A, no one's yeah, actually going to know what the name is. You know is. what? This is what I loved about River. I actually posted. I said, um, if someone can guess the baby, I'll give you like what, a $500 gift card or whatever it was. And not a single <gasps> you human guessed the name. Cough up that's that awesome. money. And that's how I knew it was a good name because nobody, yeah. literally out of the hundreds and hundreds of, I was like looking through, there's like not one. And I even gave like a, I was like, it begins with an R, and then half the people didn't listen to that, and they just yeah, and I still didn't. And no get one it. listened. People That's gave amazing. none. I actually think it would be really fun to give advice. Like my pieces of advice would be, go to something you love. Like we we loved the name Hendrix for a girl, mm. but here's an example of t- one of Ty's best, one of his two best friends, which has become one of my close friends. They have a daughter named Kendrick, so he's like Hendrix oh. feels too close to Kendrix. So we had some names because of music. We looked at. I always loved the name Taylor for a girl until mm-hmm. Taylor Swift became so huge. Nothing yeah. against Taylor. I love Tay Tay. But we did give that name, which is my mom's maiden name, yeah. to Sebastian. We like even Gibson, like we were looking at all these music references because we like Lennon. Yeah. I love the name Lennon mm-hmm. for I a girl. Lennon. That's nice. And I have a friend who calls her daughter Lenny, and I think that's like the cutest. Lennon is really Lennon's cute. such I actually Pass that name on to a friend who's having a girl soon because I was like, I feel like you'll love this name. There were so many Len- names. Lennon was on my list. Was mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. I loved Lennon and Lennox because I grew up Lennox. around the corner from Lennox yep. Mall. And Lenny as a nickname, I think that's so cute for both. Yeah, but he was like, Yeah, cute. but that's the nickname of the block. Like we had so many things. My mom got so annoyed because you can't it's like you can't veto them because you know someone. Because and I agree. As long as if it's someone close to you, it's fine. It's more but if it's I fun think, for you though. Yeah. It's like you don't want like your childhood nemesis you don't want to name your child after your childhood nemesis or something right, yeah. where it's, but but the basic like oh so and so that works at so and so they had a baby six months ago and they named it that yeah who cares you won't know them in four years right and you that know? and that person's not looking at you going they named their baby mm-hmm. if anything it's usually a compliment yeah. yeah but i think recommending like going to books going to music going to something that hey, you love adrian wrote like, a book i even put it over yeah. there and they're there's a sex show on how to name a baby. Is there really? Yeah. I also I don't know love, if it's real, if it's a this real is, sex show. Some people love right. looking at popular names, but I like looking at 
like you can Google it and then find out that it's unpopular. That's what I lo- I personally oh, love. Yeah. Um, and I also think that family names is really cool for one or the other. Like going to your family and like a spin on that name. And at, like my mom, as much as I was like, oh. Okay, mom, why are you getting annoyed with me for not liking that every name that you pitch out? But also, she ultimately like helped us name Sebastian and all the ideas that she gave us. She would give us like these new lists. Yeah. And I actually loved that even though she knew we weren't going to tell her. Yeah. So we saved the fact that her maiden name was our middle son's middle name like until he was born. That's mm. sweet. Though. Yeah. But what would what would y'all's biggest tips for naming a baby be? Superheroes, Batman. I love Batman. Thor. I would say go to the delivery room with two cho- two or three choices. And save if, it. Unless you're settled, right? Like you clearly yeah. are settled. If you're if you're not settled, go with like two and, and then just meet like them. S- meet them. Yeah. And I would and I would All say that. if there's something truly in your heart, regardless of what everyone else is telling mm-hmm. you, like yeah. my like my even my mom tried to send me against River because she was like something about really? like, River Phoenix and she was like oh man and, nobody and the in this generation River Phoenix. knows him but, but that's it, a weird it, but that's, it, a, that's it, a distant association right right so you're making up things and calling it you. bad karma or yeah. whatever it is when it really isn't no. so in, in my mind I think you just have to cancel out the noise and just know what is going to be the, like if, if you have it in your head like don't let anybody take that from you right like your kid's your kid and once that baby's out no one will no one will ever know that baby by another name. No. Yeah. You know? Like no one's but, gonna know that well, list of names that River could have been. I do have friends who renamed their babies a few times. Really? Oh yeah. Like uh, we know someone that so we have friends that had a name for their baby, but then they got so much feedback on it that was negative. Like after they named the baby, after and like, they named the baby. Oh. So they named the baby a more traditional name, but then let the child know as she got older what they wanted to name her and the child ended up adopting the name that the parents wanted to name her and switched back as a grown up. Wow. But I also have known people oh you've probably all seen these people that like they change the baby's name a billion times and Mm. all which I guess it's fine if the baby doesn't know better. Like I guess if you were set on river and you met river and you're like just not a river and you were inspired by you're like leaf is clearly Mm -hmm. her name. Yeah. Then you get olive tree. Olive is olive. clearly her name. I like, did like olive. Like, that's a good name. It's a good name. I like olive. I, I liked Oliver and Ollie and Archie and like these and Ty's like, ugh. Yeah. But Ty strangely like loved the name Fitzgerald and Fitz for Fitz Sebastian. Cool. Yeah. But we were watching Scandal like... at the time. So maybe that was why. But then we were like, no, it's like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so cool. it's a weird thing. But I also think you're right about the fact that if you stick to your guns, no one can judge you because you're like, no, this is the baby's name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The problem comes when you ask for opinions. Yeah. Right. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Like, and that's where you get in trouble. Right. I agree. I, agree. I love how much cleavage you have right now. <sighs> okay. Should we? I feel like oh, we should all like give our give our. Well, you you're gonna have more kids, so you might not be able to give your baby names. Mm-hmm. Give them I'm away. Total- hey, hit me up if you want my unused baby names. I have two, and I think both of them are fairly controversial. Okay, oh, please, no, tell they, us. you won't use them. They're not. I don't feel like they're. Tell I me. feel like they're two. One is Dixie, and it has a very southern root, but it's from all my children back in the day. I used to watch all my children, and Dixie was the most ridiculous name. But as I've grown, I'm like, I love that name, Dixie. It's just like I like I the know. name Daisy. Daisy's cute. And then I love the name Bo, B E A U. If I had another boy, he would probably. That's be a our Bo. neighbor across the street. His uh, name's Bo, and their son's name is Bowman, but B O W. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like both of those. Yeah, no, I have a lot of names that I didn't use either. I probably have a list in my phone somewhere. I, I'm looking at my list now. Uh-huh. I, had, I had Atlas for a boy. I had Ambrose. We we're gonna name it. So PJ's middle name, I would have named as a first name. Ambrose. I actually oh, yeah. like the name like Arrow. Arrow. I yeah. I have Ace. Oh, Ace is Mason's nickname. Oh, That's really? actually what A&E sent us a baby gift. And it was one of those anywhere chairs. And instead of monogramming MJK, they knew that we, I intended to call him Ace. And so oh, they monogrammed it with yeah, Ace. That I wonder beautiful. if I deleted the girl's it's name. It's interesting because when I named Teddy, I can't remember if I tagged something, but people instantly started calling her Teddy Q. Yeah. And you that's, did, I think. Yeah. So I was like, oh, she's Teddy Q. It's and we cute. and we do like Teddy Q, Teddy Quinn, T Q. Yeah. And but we never did that with the boys. But they have nicknames. Radley is Rad, Sebastian is Bash. 
but Teddy has all it's of like, these let's make her iterations. Longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, rib, pretty, yeah. Rib, pretty River, pretty we call her like Ribby. I'm like, that's, yeah, it's not really shortened at all, you know. Yeah, but it's still cute. It's cute. Yeah. Well, um, it, well, we call you Brit. Yeah, Brit. we should We're just call you Taney. <laughs> no taint. <laughs> hey Taney, I'm Brit without the taint. Taint. <laughs> Dane. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Hit us up if you want more baby name mm-hmm. ideas because I'm willing to give all of mine away. This is fun. Yeah. Sorry, hey, hey, I think I, I think I should call my husband for another episode. Let's do it. Mm. Wait, what's going to happen? I know. Mm. Okay. See you guys next week. Bye. My eyes bitching. Oh. The Hi My Name Is Mom Studio is brought to you by the Yard Sale Store. Check them out at yardsalestore.com and on socials at Yard Sale USA.